All right, here we are at 2858 Tiburon Boulevard East, Unit 101. Um, top floors on the diagonal. Got the pillars here, archway, light fixture. Um, hopefully getting a pretty good idea of what the furniture situation is. And then, you know, just make some pretty pretty good assumptions on what is antiques and, and personal items and then artwork, obviously. Um, I asked if there was an electric underneath this rug. We don't think so. Um, I honestly don't remember all the other units, and I'm not willing to move all the couches, tables, chairs, and all that stuff to get underneath there. Um, the electric and the table is all back there. You probably can't really see it from that angle, but it's there. I can see it. Plantation shutters, crown molding. Okay. Again, just get an idea of all the inventory that's in here. Dining room, tray ceiling, nice light fixture, bar stools, all that fun stuff. Real thick, nice thick granite here. Um, inch and a half thick at least. Um, same tile that's on the patio. Electric shutters up there. Okay. There's an electrical out, out, outlet out here, but there is not a cable that I saw. It's not hard to do though. You, if you wanted to get an idea of the view. I can't really hear the cars very well today at all. You know, fountains drowning out and a lot of it has to do with the way the wind's blowing. You're obviously on that pass through in between the two holes. Okay, wood floors in here. You can see they got a cable jack and electric here. And then he has the whole office set up over here in this corner. You know, another cable right down there as well. So he's got the whole office set up in here. Nice curtains, nice balances. Those little Planters with the vases, those look like they could be kind of expensive. I know my mom had one of those, the vases themselves, not obviously not the planters, but um, those may be antiques, I don't know. TV on the wall here. See, he's got more outlets up top behind the TV. Hardwood in the closet. They got all the custom shelving in the closets, which is a really nice feature, and it's all motion activated. So as soon as you kind of touch it, it that turns on, which is a nice feature. Under cabinet lighting, got the antique white. Um, it's a little chilly, it's cold here today, so I had to put on a sweater vest. <laughs> 40 degrees this morning, we were freezing. It's like up to 60 now, so I think we'll survive. The glass block, which is really nice. Uh, you got that eastern exposure, so you get the morning sun in here on this room. Little nice tumbled tiles. Nice tile inlays in there as well. Okay. Let's see what else. This should be the control. Well, maybe not. I was trying to find the controls for the electric. Shutters. I hadn't done that before we started. Go back through to where the front door is. This is your den slash third bedroom. It does have the glass double doors here. As a reminder, glass double doors, skinnier double doors, but nice. TV set up here on this wall that kind of faces. But it's back up to where the hallway and kitchen is. Cable outlets are set up in there. Plantation shutters as well. Big tall mirror. Okay. Nice setup. Base here. Guess bath. Really nice frame mirror. Everything's in real good shape. They did a great job of keeping this place. It's in great condition. Same floors that are in the master. Cables over here on this corner, so you can hang something if you 
wanted to. Pop back through the washer dryer here on this side. I do have some cabinet space up there, which is nice. Ironing board. Nice bar stools here as well. GE monogram stove and then convection microwave oven. Real nice cabinetry here in the pantry. Okay. Granite Island. Nice hardware on the doors that obviously has been replaced, I would imagine. Got the granite that goes, runs up the backsplash as, as well, which is really nice. The one cabinet's a glass display. Big, big, big old fridge, man. Sub-Zero. I mean, hold whatever you want. Okay. Pop into the garage real quick. Flooring's kind of coming up a little bit, but that's not a big deal. You can always redo that. Air handler. Let me go here. No, no, it's all right. I just wanted to do a quick pop in on there. There's a new, a new water heater. New water heater, okay. Um, I think that just about covers it. You kind of have the double blinds here. The window coverings, you can have kind of the silhouette blinds, and then you also have, well, I guess the curtains just go to there, so those are just for decoration, but those those other ones um, do close. I'm trying to get it from every angle so I don't miss anything. You know, you had asked about a sunken electric, I believe here was the question, and a lot of times I can feel that with my foot. I did lift up this portion of it. I don't feel anything underneath here. Um, I don't know if we can go back through the videos and see. I don't know what you know what the thought process is behind the sunken electric. I believe that's what you were asking about. Um, like I said, the cable outlet is behind that couch. Um, and I think most of the people did kind of have it set up where the couches were faced back towards this way. So I don't know how else with the cable jack being on that wall. And you figure the, the TV would go there where that picture is. Um, so anyway, just trying to give you all the options so we answer all the questions. Humidistat and AC there. So hopefully that covers it all.